Hello, I'm Kenny Ting, Director of Asian Civilizations Museum and Peranakan Museum. Welcome to Guo Pei, Chinese Art and Couture. Come on in with me and let me tell you some fun facts about the pieces. This is the first piece you will see in the exhibition. Isn't it amazing? Made of gold. Now looking at it, you wouldn't think that actually the piece is inspired by Buddhist art in two ways. First, in terms of the number of hours uh, that was used to make this piece, 50,000 hours corresponding to six years of seamstresses working with devotion, diligently, um, almost with a kind of a Buddhist pious-like devotion. Um, and secondly, if you look at the rim of the dress, you see there are these lotuses that have been stitched in, and the lotus, of course, is the Buddhist symbol of purity. This dress to my left is the coolest dress in the exhibition. It is paired with our imperial robe. If you look at the imperial robe, you see that it is gold in color and has dragons on the front. Gold, of course, represents the color of the imperial family and the dragon represents the emperor himself. So in this dress, Guo Pei has very playfully subverted the traditional meanings of all these symbols. She is still using gold in this dress, uh, but in this case, it represents joy and the abundance of the earth and general vibrancy of life. Uh, in place of the dragon, she has placed the figure of the Shuangxi, or double happiness, as well as Ji, uh, which means uh, fortune. Uh, so in this way, something that is very, very serious, uh, imperial, severe, is translated into something that's all about playfulness and life. This is my favourite dress in the exhibition, not just because it's just completely over the top in its colour and vibrancy, uh, but also because of its Peranakan connection. Uh, if you look at the dress, you'll see that there are two key motifs that are explored, uh, the phoenix and the peonies. And you also see the same phoenix and peony in our Puranakan Kamching uh, that we place uh, right next to it. One more interesting thing about this dress is if you look at the front of it, there's this profusion of these silk flowers. This is known as Gonghua. If you look at Chinese TV series uh, set in the Qing Dynasty, you'll have these princesses that have these headgear that have these flowers on them. And it's exactly these Gonghua. Now, nobody knows how to make these gonghua anymore. So what Guo Pei did was she collected a lot of these gonghua from the actual Qing Dynasty period and placed them on this dress, making this piece one of the sort of rarest pieces in the exhibition. This dress is just awesome because um, it was made in a way that mimics the production of blue and white porcelain. So if you see uh, the patterns on the dress, uh, they were actually hand-painted on the silk first and then embroidered. Uh, and the dresses are also folded in a way that recalls porcelain. If you look at the patterns on the dress themselves, lotus flowers, uh, clouds and oceans, uh, they are also very, very traditional kinds of patterns that you find in uh, Ming Dynasty uh, blue and white porcelain. The other point that is very, very interesting about this dress is that actually it is what I call hybrid or cross-cultural. Uh, the tradition of making the dress is Chinese, it's Asian, but the form itself is a European dress. So this dress is a very special dress uh, and it's the reason why we're doing the exhibition in the first place. Uh, it was worn by Chinese celebrity Angela Baby in 2015 for her wedding and it is directly inspired by the dress to the left which comes from our collection, the Peranagan Museum's uh, collection. Interestingly, in 2011, uh, we had an exhibition of Peranakan uh, material in the Musée du Quai Branly in Paris, and Guo Pei just happened to see the exhibition at the time and this particular dress. She was very moved by the dress to the left uh, that she then decided to create uh, this dress. And that's all for a preview of the exhibition. I hope you enjoy it.